Hey folks, I just wanted to share something super cool that I discovered about ChatGPT. So I've got this big database uh, and I was like, all right, I need to turn this into PHP code. Um, it's gonna be really tedious to create PHP wrapper classes that encapsulate each of these things. So I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can get ChatGPT to do it. So I was like, okay, cool. Let me, let's just do the version number table. So I'm like, hey, ChatGPT, I have the following SQL, uh, sorry, my SQL query. Can you create a PHP class that encapsulates a single row in this table? Let's see, a query that creates a table. Can you create a PHP class that encapsulates a single row in this table? Here's the query, and let's see what it does. Yes, I can help you with a PHP class, single row. Here's an implementation. I was like, all right, awesome. Yo, this is gonna give me everything I need to like read and write into this single row. So it's giving me all these member functions, and I said, you can use this class to create an instance um, like this. So it's like showing me how to actually do this. Let's see, now I want to actually like, can you add types, can you add data types to the PHP class? This is amazing. Like, yes, I can add the types. I just gotta wait for it to do a thing. Now it's providing types that match the MySQL data types. This is phenomenal. And then, because I wanna use curly braces on their own line, can you put the curly braces on their own line? with no other code and use an indentation of four spaces. Certainly, here's an updated implementation with curly braces on their own line. Look at this, this is awesome. Is this faster than typing it by hand? I think so. It's, well, it's definitely less work. And then finally, what's amazing about this, here's the part that I think is absolutely amazing. Great, can you provide example code showing how to retrieve? and entry from the database using PDO and also how to write to the data write to the database instance of this class of this PHP class because we want to be specific to the database. All right, so here we go. Okay, assume PDO is an object, right? Perfect. Okay. Here's how we create a new version. Here's how we populate it with everything. Here's how you write an instance. Like, this is awesome. It's just giving me like all the good stuff that I need. It's gonna save so much freaking time. All right, so the last thing we need to do is just say like, can you uh, add some safety to the read, to the code that reads from the database that handles when a entry, when a row is not found based on the lookup value provided. I think I used, I think it used ID here. Like yeah, int ID equals one um, based on the uh, ID value provided. And can you, whoops, can, can you add some safety to the code um, in case the prepare or execute functions fail during the, you know, inside, inside the code that writes to the database. Prepare or execute functions. Awesome. Let's see what it shows. Sure, here, how do we retrieve an entry using safety checks for a missing row and how to write an instance? Data is, okay. Retrieving an entry from the database class. Statement, here's the statement. Let's execute. Okay, if the row is false because it couldn't find anything, throw an exception. Awesome, cool. Perfect. If it found it, you know, like, create it from that. Perfect, all right. And then here's safety in case it fails. Insert, if the statement fails, throw an exception. Then it's gonna check for if success fails, throw another exception. Failed to prepare the statement, failed to execute. This is awesome because I spent like, I spent so much time writing my database class for the previous version to do all this stuff. But now I'm just getting it in, uh, let's see, this video is six minutes long and this would have taken me an hour or 30 minutes or something. So this saves me a ton of time. Anyway, ChatGPT is pretty cool for this kind of thing. It's all about creating good prompts and whatnot that can save you a ton of work. So I have to do it for this massive table which I'm not gonna show you. You get the idea. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. I think that's awesome. And uh, I hope you found that informative and useful in case you're a developer and you're trying to figure out how you can take advantage of ChatGPT with uh, database stuff and MySQL and PHP and whatnot. All right, good times. Thanks for checking it out.